Neil ate one third of a large pizza, and Luke ate two fifths of a medium pizza. If the two men ate the same amount of pizza, the large pizza is how many times as large as the medium pizza? This is a challenging middle school problem. So give it a shot. You can use variables to solve the problem if you want. You can also use pictures to solve the problem. So if you're working with younger students and you help them you want to help them understand the concept of fraction it's a very good idea to try to use a picture so that they can see the meaning behind the symbols and the rules so that's the goal I'm going to solve this problem visually um, in the following um, part part of the video that's coming ahead that's ahead of us so give it a shot see if you can solve it and if you want you can watch the entire video on your own here is the problem with in a smaller font with a couple of pictures. What I did is I took the two numerators under consideration, one and two, multiplied them, and I got two, and I assumed the two men had two slices, or the parts that they had had two identical pieces. Now we're going to see how that kind of comes in handy. So, Neil had this much pizza, and Luke had this much pizza. Luke's slice or slices came from a lar uh, medium pizza, and Neil's slices came from a large pizza. Now, according to the question, Neil ate one third of a large pizza, so this has to be one third, so there has to be one third. The entire pizza must have looked somewhat like this. One third, two thirds, and three thirds. That must have been roughly what the large pizza looked like. Now Luke's pizza, this is two fifths, so this has to be one fifth. Half of this has to be one fifth. So this is one fifth, because what Luke ate was two fifths, so this is one fifth two-fifths the whole medium pizza must have looked like excuse me three-fifths four-fifths five-fifths now that's the concept behind the problem so this is the large pizza this is the medium pizza now the question wants us to find out the large pizza is how many times as large as the medium pizza So here's the picture. So the large pizza, the large pizza that Neil ate from must have had one, two, three, four, five, six slices. And the medium pizza that Luke had some slices from must have had about one, two, three, four, five, five slices. Now, why, the question is, why is it a good choice to assign whatever 2 times 1 is whatever and you multiply the two numerators you get a number why is it a good choice to put that many slices for each man that you really want to think about well the 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 simple answer is that helps us create the whole pizza for each man fairly conveniently now the final to answer the final part of the, our question the main question if the two men ate the same amount of pizza the large pizza is how many times as large as the medium pizza you can you can do something like this basically we are asking the lar the medium pizza how many medium pizzas would fit into the large pizza well there is this is your medium pizza one of them will fit in fine so it'll at least one time as large and then there is a little more only a fifth of this will go in so only a fifth of the medium pizza will fit in so this is one here it's at least one times as large but it's a little more so it's one and one fifth one and one fifth so the large pizza is one and one-fifth times as large as the medium pizza. Here's a parallel problem. Um, pause the video, write down the question, try, the, try to solve the problem, see if you can do it. And the answer to the question appears in the description area of the video below the video.
Give it a shot. Good luck.